Hello folks, it's Ty here with another video showing off more story details giving us an inner look into the game's menu and many of its features. Now this is old news as this was shown back in an Acer showcase which is now taken down unfortunately. So the only existing footage of this event I could find is on Ani's channel so you can thank him for that. But now with the existing footage of Dying Light 2 we can connect the dots a little bit further as to what this game will be at launch. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. To start off with this menu, we can see there are three categories, being journal, chat, and quick slots. Within this journal section is where we'll get our story and mission details that we see here, and maybe even a few notes Aiden jots down as the story progresses, something like in Uncharted. The next section is the chat section, where I assume we can communicate with other players. And next is quick slots, which I assume is where our main inventory will be, unless that's a different menu entirely. In this journal section to the left, we can see our quest to choose from and the distance away it takes to reach the next objective. The first mission is called Finding Water Tower, which is probably in some way related to the mission we've seen back in 2018 where we negotiate with the scavengers to give out water to the people. We see another water tower mission below it, probably where we can take action on the tower's people and make that one big decision. One mission above is a mission called Let's Waltz, and another a few missions below is called Waltz People. It seems this Waltz character might be very important around this section of the game, as the renegades when he and his capture are demanding for his location. At the very bottom, we see the mission we talked about before called Getting Stronger. Now, I'm not really sure what image came first in all honesty, so it's hard to tell what is the newer menu. And there are pretty big changes in both menus though, so like in both we see the description for the same quest, but the name of the quest itself is actually different, as well as the recommended level. And this time around, we're following Hakon instead of Abdul. Though, before we continue, keep in mind all these things are a work in progress and nothing we talk about here is final, so if anything, both these menus may be completely different from its final form. But anyways, above the distance from each quest, there's a symbol of some kind, possibly being for each faction, though I suppose it could be the rank, I'm not really sure. There's also guaranteed rewards, which we talked about in the last video, with this one being a rare item. To the very right, we can see our past objectives for the mission. The objectives aren't really connected to the summary in any way, besides the bazaar being a destination. I assume this bizarre marketplace area is like a save hub for us to be able to buy from vendors and trade. I assume once we complete an objective, it adds the extra description below it elaborating on the events that have occurred. So we see Aiden during the mission was searching for inhibitors, which are permanent power-ups that can increase her stamina, health, or immunity to the infection. They can be found near GRE quarantine zones, which we can tell by the next objective. It also could be just for the story quest though too, but we'll eventually find out for ourselves. The next objective is for us to clear our way to the airdrop, pretty much confirming we'll see airdrops in some way. This does surprise me though as the world is nearly entirely wiped out at the time of the game, so this could just be an abandoned airdrop that contains the inhibitors Aiden is searching for. But anyways, that's all we have to take a look at for today. I personally think the menu now is probably very different from this with a lot of the same features. I clearly don't work at Techland, so this is all just speculation as a lot of my videos are. But feel free to let me know your thoughts down below as I read every comment. For right now, that's going to be all today though, so be sure to like the video and subscribe and stop by next time. <laughs>